Охуеть. Смотри. И вонутся. Смотри, сколько машин горит. Блять, на Есенина на наконечке, куда вниз спускаемся, ебаный в рот, прилет, машины горят, пизда. Охуеть. Короче, вот такие пироги. Спал, спал. Вот, значит, как-то так. Вот, собственно, вот. Окна теперь у меня панорамные. И вот машина прилетела. Что с ней стало вот как хорошо. Охуеть! Выбило все стекла, балкон, выбило окно, кухня аналогично. Блять, на Есенина на конечке, куда вниз спускаемся, ебаный в рот, прилет, машины горят, пизда, охуеть. For the third day in a row, in the border regions with Ukraine, Russian volunteer troops continue their raids. Battles in the Kursk and Belgorod regions persist, and it is expected that there will be shelling of Russian occupiers' military targets in these regions, so the call for local residents to evacuate urgently remains relevant. As of this morning, there were reports of battles in the area of the village of Spodaryashin in the Belgorod region. The pro-Kremlin telegram channel MASH wrote that the so-called subversive reconnaissance group, which the resource refers to as Ukrainian, approached from the site of the Ukrainian village of Papivka. And there the battle began. The Russian army allegedly deployed aviation to repel the attack. So-called Russian correspondents claim that heavy equipment is being used to attack Espotoryushine. In addition, battles for Tyatkino in the Kursk region continue for the third day. Furthermore, a volunteer of the Freedom of Russia Legion, Alexei Baranovsky, made an interesting proposal, which, in his opinion, could be put forward to the Russian President Vladimir Putin. He said that the volunteers are ready to withdraw from Tyatkino if the Kremlin dictator withdraws the occupiers from the Ukrainian Melitopol. They are leaving Melitopol, and we are returning Tyatkino to them. In my opinion, this would be quite a good deal, Baranovsky said, according to him, the situation in the border regions with Russia is developing very dynamically. Fighting on the outskirts of Tyatkino continues. Thus, there are battles both in the Korsk region and in the Belgorod region. Our special liberation operation has been ongoing for the third day, Baranovsky added, since early morning, Belgorod and surrounding settlements in the region have been under shelling. Footage of a burning car allegedly hit by shelling was posted online. The Russian Volunteer Corps, in turn, declares that a military serviceman of the Russian army, Dmitry Oksayevich Galishkin was killed in the car that was shelled after yesterday's warning. Representatives of the Russian Volunteer Corps urged residents of the Belgorod and Korsk regions to evacuate again this morning, as strikes on military targets of the occupiers are being prepared. Your leadership has taken no measures for your protection or evacuation, while shelling of peaceful cities and villages of Ukraine is ongoing. We are forced to open fire in response on military targets in border regions. Evacuate immediately, the statement said. Russian troops will be deployed on the border with Finland, Russian President Vladimir Putin said in an interview with Russia One TV channel and Russia's RIA state news agency, the Russian leader said Finland's accession to NATO was meaningless, adding that he does not understand what has prompted the need for the alliance in Helsinki. Our relations used to be very good. But now the situation will change, Putin said. It should be noted that Finland joined NATO in April 2023. Earlier, Estonia's Foreign Intelligence Service warned that Moscow is planning to possibly double the number of troops along its western border with the Baltic states and Finland, as it anticipates a potential military conflict with NATO in the coming decade. Russians are planning to increase the military force along the Baltic states' border but also the Finnish border. 
we will highly likely see an increase of manpower, about doubling perhaps. We will see an increase in armed personnel carriers, tanks, artillery systems over the coming years, Kalpo Razin, the head of the service said. Recall Russia unilaterally terminated a Finnish-Russian border agreement dating back to 2012. While this move is largely symbolic as the agreement was suspended following Russia's invasion of Ukraine in 2022, it nonetheless demonstrates Russia's willingness to escalate tensions with its neighbor along its northernmost boundary with the EU and NATO.